the Big Up High Hotel Film Festival. This is just such a wonderful, wonderful ministry because I feel that my heart's been ministered to. I feel I've been challenged. I feel I've been inspired by the people who are prepared to tell their stories. I th well, I thought it was an excellent choice of movie, first of all. Just really good. Um, uh, certainly, a lot of the things I've been thinking and talking to people about came out in that movie. So far, the orphan children and for all the refugees. The disappeared and the bombing victims don't get ratings on TV. Uh, my name is Robin Mills and I work for Westside FN and I thought the event was brilliant. I really enjoyed watching the film. Um, and I look forward to seeing some more of the films that are on the festival. I'm Dara Day, Cook of TV. I'm here at the Iron Hotel Film Festival. Because Cook of TV are totally um, committed to promoting films that make a difference in the world. So it's great to find people that are doing the same. I'm touched by how people around the world are deactivating negative energy and creating a positive influence that is touching lives. And to act as an instrument of peace. There's something about popular culture that gives ideas real life and, and, and a real spark. And, and peace is always something that's on the, the lunatic fringe almost. People kind of go, only crazy people think about peace. You know, it's not really. But actually, peace is at the core of who we are in society, and so it needs to be brought into mainstream culture. I love the world because I think many people will be inspired. And it's really time because I think a lot of people are thinking the same thing, but they are not talking about it. I think um, the most inspiring thing for me was just um, seeing how all that information was spreading and uh, the, the, the real platforms and the key speakers and the, real, the range, the scope of the different people that got involved with the film. It was, it was, in, it was on so many levels. And don't ever think of what you're doing as being small. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't know the impact that you might be having on someone's life. It might be a massive impact. Especially there was one lady who was talking about the cycle from suffering from a act of violence and then the shock and then the anger and the cycle that takes someone round to perpetrating more ongoing war and how some of those all the people on the film had somehow managed to transform that and go beyond that and that's just you know it's mind boggling and it's really it's really powerful. I feel I feel I've been healed of something today. I feel something has been transformed in my life and I'm very, very grateful that I've been allowed to be here. Yeah, really good, really good conversations. Uh, people obviously um, leaders trying to do something in their communities uh, who came to view it and I think part of the excitement of seeing something like that is afterwards sitting down with people and having those conversations you know and saying oh what are you doing and, and I think I made a few contacts here today and I think um, some of the principles in the movie will hopefully put them into action in real life in uh, the next couple of weeks and months. So. Tell the world what's happening out there and, and this whole festival especially the film I've just seen but the whole festival really is inspiration to get out there and get your message out, get your message heard. And I really want to thank the film festival for just this inspiring afternoon and inspiring all of us to be better human beings, to challenge ourselves to come up to a new level of grace and a new level of compassion. I want to say that I'm deeply touched by the whole event. And let's have many, many more like this. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens. It's been an accelerating time. Yeah.